Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about beating the map The Hunters on Escape Mode on Master Difficulty in Gears 5. So, I did a video for The Hive on Master Difficulty a little while ago, and this one plays out a little bit differently. It's a bit easier than The Hive, but we switched up the characters we were using to do this. We traded out Keegan for Emil, or Emil, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but either way, we were using him for this run, and that's because he has a really strong melee ability. And if you've tried this hive out, you'll know that there are sires everywhere on master difficulty. It's really difficult because those guys have a lot of health and they take you down in pretty much one hit. However, if you've got Emil up to a high level, he has a gold card which gives him a stim ability after a certain amount of time if he doesn't take any damage. That basically means that the sires take two hits to knock him down. Also, he does mega damage to the sires uh, with his melee abilities. We also brought Lani along because she has a really strong melee ability when you use the right cards. Keegan usually supplies Mac with ammo, as we did that a lot through the run in the hive. But in this hive, there's a lot of ammo that you can pick up in the supply rooms. So we thought it was best to leave Keegan behind and trade him out like I already said. I'm also using the increased damage in the Venom card, which makes for easy opportunities to kill the enemies if you're getting stuck in the Venom. And uh, yeah, if you come across Sires, you're just going to want to group together and smack them up as fast as you can. Just everybody melee them. Don't waste your ammo on them. In this first supply room around the corner, you're going to have a boom shot and a couple of ammo boxes that you might want to grab. Do your best to get rid of the rejects. They're pretty easy to deal with if there's more than one of you. You can just sort of turn them around and get someone to execute them from behind in one hit. Makes life a lot easier. I think our Emil here was late out of the spawn, but he managed to make it back in time so we could get this done. So, I grab the majority of the ammo that we find in this run, but as Mac, I can't really do a fat lot to the sires. I don't want to waste my Boltok ammo on him, so I was trying to bait the sire around here, but I think he managed to get me down, and the other guys had to come back and help me, so I was trying to avoid him here and just save my ammo, but he smacked me down right there. And uh, Lani had to come back and grab me. It's best to stick together on the Sires. We were a little bit unorganized in the beginning because uh, our Emil was late out of the spawn. But I'd say in this area, you want to do your best just to stick together and smack the Sires um, to get rid of them. So I pick up the boom shot and the explosive ammo box, and then I just help Lani here get rid of the Sire. But you will see a lot of us working together to kill these sires with melees. If you've got the two strong melee characters in escape, which are Lani and Emil, you'll do really well against taking out the sires quickly. And pretty much Mac just wants to work on the other enemies with the Boltark, get those active reloads and use that bleeding damage. And that's quite, kind of why it's really essential to get your characters leveled up to do the master difficulty. I'd say if you're a lower level, just avoid doing master and do your best to level up your characters before you go into it. Some of you asked me to do a guide on how to level up characters quickly, and my advice is just really to keep playing the lower difficulties. It's the best way to level up your characters, just keep doing... Not beginner, you can probably go a bit further than that, maybe intermediate and advanced. And as you level up your characters, you can go towards the harder difficulties, and yeah, get them up faster and faster. Stick together when you're dealing with the Sires, like I said, as soon as someone goes down, do your best to get them either out of the Sires grab or pick them up straight away. As long as you stick together, they're not too difficult to deal with, but as a rule of thumb, you want Lani and Emil to do all of the damage to the Sires. It's the best way to get things done, they have that bleeding damage, which means also that if someone gets grabbed, they'll keep bleeding and that does more damage to the Sires, which makes them release the grab if they're carrying them away. Uh, Emil is really useful for getting rid of those Sires in this hive. So when you come into this area, there's a cover just down here you can use to just stay away from the drones. As you come in, if the drones are close, when you reach this cover, they'll usually back off a little bit and give you a little bit of breathing room. But if you're playing as Mac, you just want to do your best to do as much damage with the active reload Boltok to all of the normal enemies as you can. Sometimes Sires can come behind you, and if they do, just get ready to group up and melee them down and get on those revives quick if anybody goes down. 
There's usually a couple of juvies lurking in this area as well, so be ready for them to push up on you. You see that Emil's moving over to the right to deal with those juvies, and I'm just doing my best to stay here. This is probably the best cover in the room, just because a couple of hunters usually sit up top, just above the ramps, and you've got that thing in front of you by that cover that stops them being able to get a line of sight on you. If you are going to sit where I'm sitting right now, just make sure someone's sitting with you in case you go down. You see we got the sires coming behind us. I think we had bad RNG here and a bunch of sires came behind us. And we all had to fall back and just deal with them together. You see me getting grabbed there. The guys are just ready to smack those sires. And make them release me as fast as possible. So, trying to back off from the sires grab. When they do that sort of raw thing, they're about to lunge in for their one hit uh, down or they're going to grab you. So just do your best to back up from there and group up to kill the Shires. Once you feel like you've cleared out most of the enemies in the room, come down here to the right and move forward a little bit towards this ladder. You can either go up that ladder and around or you can take the ramps that are in front of us. It's up to you. The ladder is a little bit quicker, but if you feel like you're pressed for time, you can all go up the ladder and just make a break for the safe room. That first section isn't really that difficult to be honest. To get to this first safe room, once you practice it a little bit, you can get it done quite easily. The real tough part of this hive is at the very end because you have a warden guarding the landing zone. And there's also a bunch of elite grenadiers that have the claw guns and those things are deadly on this difficulty. They can destroy you so, so quick. Um, and I feel like at the end we definitely got a bit sloppy and there was it's, it just feels like havoc it's really really difficult you're really pressed for time because you have the venom coming behind you and that's why we save the boom shot and the drop shot that we get in the next supply room for that area just to try and kill as many of those enemies as fast as possible so when you get let out of the safe room here we're going to make a break for the right side so, just waiting for the doors to open. Here we go. We're going to run over to the right side here. And it's a certain part of cover we want to jump on. Sometimes the enemies can spawn on the left there. Most of the time they don't though. But whoever's playing as Mac wants to run up to this cover. Wait till he can see the Scion. Sometimes he comes out of here a bit late. And then you want to use your ultimate ability. Crack the active on the Baltuck and just hit the Scion in the face as many times as you can with the active ball type to do extra damage to him. Get him killed as quick as possible and then if you can try and hit a couple of shots on the drones. I got hit by the Scion while he was still alive and got downed so Emil came down and popped the shield to save me and then we dealt with the Sires that were hanging around at the top of the ramp and if you need cover open up the supply room and go in there. Do your best to deal with any Sires that come up the ramp and work together to take out the drones. Again, it's usually max responsibility to do as much damage as possible with the bleeding damage ball tuck to these guys. Okay, so now we just kind of need to clear out the area. There's a few drones left, but I need to grab the ammo for the ball tuck that's in this room. The other two guys, they can do with a little bit of ammo from the kills we get, but you really want to leave the ammo boxes for Mac so he can get as much ammo for the Baltoc as possible. And Emil doesn't need the stim because he has that uh, ability unlocked where he gets it naturally, but there should be a stim each for the other two characters in this room. So I'm going to do my best to get rid of these drones to help the other guys push forwards. The stim gets ripped off me here pretty quickly, but there's another one just ahead you can grab. I'm pretty sure I went down here. I need to get revived by Emil again. Again, make sure you're sticking together just to do as much damage as possible and get each other up as quick as possible as well. The tricky part about being Mac is you've really got to hit those actives to be able to do that extra damage. So sometimes you have to wait for the active reload to be available, which can be a little bit annoying. But either way, we got that area sorted pretty quick. You need to get through this area as quick as possible just because the venom's behind you and you need to try and save time for the ending. You need a little bit of extra time for the ending. So do your best to get through there quickly. Again, Mac needs to grab ammo in this room. There is a bunch of it. There's also explosive pouches. In that first supply room we were in a minute ago, there's a drop shot there. 
one of you should grab that so that at the end you've got a boom shot and a drop shot one each to different characters so you can do as much damage to the warden as possible as quickly as possible when you come this way you should have a couple of sires we usually get Emil to run up to this area a little bit quicker to go ahead and deal damage to the sires and if he needs to he can fall back if the drones are giving him too much hassle so right here i move over to the right to try and see if there's any enemies lurking about i've got another stim from that supply room we just raided if you see sires coming at you just fall back to the other characters and bear in mind that you've got to group up and kill them together and in certain situations you can leave the two strong melee characters to deal with the sires and you can continue to do damage as mac with the ball type to any enemies with guns but if you've got a free moment, you can always hit a couple of melees on the sires like I'm doing here. You kind of just want to work together to get rid of them as quick as you can. Right. So a couple of good Boltok shots while I'm in the Venom will take out most enemies because you do more damage in the Venom. Right. So we've got Grenadiers lurking about. I'm leaving the sires to these guys because they do that extra damage like I mentioned earlier. And I'm doing my best to take out whatever else I can. This Grenadier got me down, so Emil came around the side and picked me back up. And then we just group meleeed him down. He's done with... We've got another Sire coming, going down again. Like I said, just make sure you stick together so whoever goes down gets revived really quickly. That's that drone dealt with. I've got to do my best to get rid of this Amargo. You can see that I've still got 53 bullets with the Boltok. You have got a ton of ammo in this mission. And the other characters don't really need it because they're mostly using their melees. Oh, group melees on these guys. Get rid of them as quick as possible. Doing my best to clear out the normal enemies as fast as I can so we can just constantly keep moving. And this is pretty much the end of the run. There isn't a lot left now. You want to clear out the sires that are here and any normal drones or imagos that are hanging around. Look out for the elite drones with the claw guns. They do so much damage, they can take you down so, so fast. So just be careful around them. Do your best to get rid of these guys as fast as you can with that Bulltock. It's really difficult for the melee characters to push up and actually do damage just because uh, they can get down so quickly. So, now that we're here, we want to use the boom shot and the drop shot and try your best to hit shots on the warden that's at the back. I popped my shield here to make sure the claw guys couldn't get me down. I was kind of patient with that boom shot because I didn't want the Sire to hit me, even though he still managed to. If you go down here again, try and stick together, pick each other up as quick as you can, deal with the Sires together, keep hitting the uh, Warden with all of the explosive stuff that you've picked up, and obviously Boltark shots as well don't hurt, just try and kill whatever you can. I had to retreat from the Warden here, I think I went down again. Luckily, Lani activated the Shaka Noor ability and picked me up. I went down again, and I got picked back up once more by Lani. She's got that stim when she activates that ability, so she's got a little bit of extra health. I managed to save Lani here, and we had the warden killed. So we just pushed up, got to the landing zone, and if I turn around and look back here and just see the other two characters being chased by about six or seven sires. I chucked a shot grenade in. I was trying to press the switch here, but it was already closing up because the Venom had reached the door. I got smacked by a Sire because of that. So bear in mind that if the Venom reaches the door, the door will just start closing on its own. This was a bit of a shit show here because there were so many Sires on the landing zone. We were all going down a bunch and we were just doing our best to revive each other and do what damage we could to the Sires that were pushing up on us. They're definitely difficult to deal with. But again, as long as you stick together, you should be okay. Keep on those revives keep smacking the sires i had the boltox so i could sit back a little bit more get the actives and do whatever damage i could to the sires i was just doing my best to hit them with active shots so they would keep bleeding i noticed lani was down here so i got her up as quick as possible just using some good movement here to just move around managed to pick off a few of these sires and that was it that ending was definitely a little bit sloppy but we struggled with it for a while to get it done just kind of got to make sure you all stick together and utilize those explosives to get rid of those guys. A tough 
tough hive for sure, but master difficulty is never going to be easy, I'm guessing, on these hives that are going to come out weekly. I'll do my best to get the weekly hives done where I can. Thanks to Joker and Quirky for helping me with this. I really do appreciate it. Um, you get a bunch of cars for finishing this off. I think that only 21 people are on the leaderboard at the moment for actually beating this hive on, um, on Master Difficulty. I'll try to run through the cards one more time that I was using that I feel like you need to use for this. For Mac, you want to use the bleeding damage with the Boltuck, the damage in the Venom. I think I'm using extended barrier duration as well. Also, the Boltuck capacity is really, really useful. And the last card I'd say you can mix up a little bit and use whatever you like. Um, the In Your Face card is very useful because it lures the enemies over to you when you headshot them, although I don't think it's essential. I think that the Lani character we were using was using her shock and awe boosts and also the melee boosts, which are very, very useful. The stim, when she activates the shock and awe ability, is really useful too. With Emil, he wants the gold card, which there's only one of, which is the stim ability that I talked about, and also the bleeding damage and uh, the melee damage as well. I think he also has the Nasha damage on. Uh, although he doesn't do a lot of shooting throughout the run. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section for me. If you have any extra strategies that I didn't mention here, you can put those down there as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Much love, guys. And until next time, take it easy.